Welcome back to the Black Parade, Mission 7, Where the Long Shadow Falls. Now I've kind of forgotten where we left off. Where am I? I am sitting here looking at archways and a door. We're above the ballroom, right? Or near, nearly above the ballroom. Or am I here? Maybe I'm here. I was heading towards the private study to look at look for the chalice, right? Yeah, this seems to be probably where I am. That's the box of ballroom. Okay. Does this guard come out this way? Seems not. Okay. So this is like a broom closet here. It's locked. Who locks a broom closet? Oh. Because it gives access to, uh... Other places, I said. Rain is really loud here, it's like a... Mass ringtone. <coughs> Ouch! So the healing, whatever, I'll just take it. But, ow, man, this is a bad ladder. This is a bad ladder. <sighs> Ring, look, there's, there's clearly an entire, like, ceiling void above me. Oh. Guards in the attic? I should not be able to hear the rain this loud. This is a flat roof above me. It's not flat roofs on this uh, house. So it sounds like there's a massive hole in the roof letting all the rain in. Well, I mean, clearly this the roof needs work. Okay, yeah. So, if we mark that, that's the two attic here, right? A. On the roof. He's got a conservatory on the roof, okay. So you can see the peaked roof above. Right. Hang on, so this is a... Is this just a greenhouse? Or is it a window? A window to above the gallery, okay. I mean, uh, uh, uh. Above the gallery, above the ballroom? Above the ballroom, I guess. Yeah, that would make sense. So we get, we're, we're on the roof. Well, I guess we're on the roof above this. Super bright out here for some reason. So I'd rather not get spotted. Some more red arrows. Yeah, so it's like, I guess here I would hear the rain maybe. Still shouldn't be this loud. But now that here it should be a lot quieter because there's still a void above. I 
very much appreciate the brush work here. These are only protruding, these beams are only protruding half a unit. Uh, above the floor. Don't open a dead spider. Ooh, and a coin, sir. Let's come back. And he's got a lantern, so I need to not be spotted by him, right? <sighs> I mean, he's not gonna go here. Look, I'm just a spider in the web. Or is he just going up to the table? And this is clearly not the attic of the entire house. More leaks. Disruption bomb. Got him stuck. Nobody? Nothing? Okay, he didn't get too alerted. That's lucky for me. So is that all just the entire thing is the attic? Is it the I guess it gives me access above here, which doesn't really do any good for me. Just looking, we're in a bit that's north south right now. Are we above here, maybe? Well, this is green brick column, might be a chimney, it's in the private study. I'm a little confused as to how this maps. So we're, this attic must be covering this area. He does have a greenhouse, but not on the roof. The attic must be going like this. Um, we've got the rooftop access above here, which doesn't let us get any further as far as I can see. Although I wasn't really looking. It just did seem to be roofs around, didn't it? It might be possible to get further on the roof. And I guess that would be an option I should probably look into. Okay, so there isn't really any point in being up here. Yeah, there's just, look, the rest of the roof there is not going to give me access to anything. I don't need to get up there, so. Huh. Okay. It was the guest room I wanted to get to, but... Mm. 
boss. Did some digging on Hume. Not much is known about him, I'm afraid. Looks like he was a child worker, tossed around between the factories of the old industrial district and the shipyards of Bow Creek and Green Bay. I know there's information from a fellow named Gaston. Apparently Hume eventually got recruited by the Deep Shine Thieves Guild, whom Gaston is a member, and quickly proved to be really skilled at the whole sneaking and killing thing. He says the boy was truly gifted. Thing is, he got betrayed by that disgusting swine from White Bell who gave him to you recently. Seems to trust the wrong people, that one. The only other thing I know is that he was sent to a prison camp somewhere outside the city and contacted the fat bastard as soon as he returned, about seven years later. He probably had no idea the feds sold him out back then. In any case, I think the deal you made should keep him happy. Gaston told me Hume can be prone to violence when he feels threatened, even by someone as mighty as you. Gaston says Hume once butchered a few of his comrades who got jealous and tried to teach him a lesson. Caution is advised. Mooney. Mooney. Lord de Wall. Renovation is progressing very well. We have fully finished working on the northeast stairwell and have begun work on the southeast guest bedroom. We also did as you requested with regards to the adjustments to the west bedroom, though we cannot do the same to the southwest, southeast, and east bedrooms, as this would require rearranging the entire manor structure there. Reworking the structure would be very costly and would cause massive delays, though we can always do this at a later date should you demand it. Work on the main hall will take more time than anticipated as the brickwork needs to be reinforced a bit beforehand. The rest of the manor should be easier now as we have completed work on the most delicate areas. Rest assured everything should be finished by Primus and this old manor shall be as good as new. Foreman Harren, Anulfini and Associates, High Watch. Adjustments to the west bedroom. Uh, that's, what, that's where we found the um, secret corridor with the spy hole, right? We can work on the southeast guest bedroom. <laughs> This guard comes back down this way, so I'm gonna take it slow. Okay, so I do want to get into the study, obviously, and I'll check this as a matter of course, but I guess. This guest room is the one they're renovating. So we're going to find a secret passage there, or an under construction secret passage? Maybe? Um, and it's these two they said they couldn't do without major changes. Although, I guess it's worth noting, I haven't been in any of these. I really should be annotating more where I've been, right? On this floor. Um, I've been around some of that, but not here. I've been around some of that, but not extensively. Got a so little, so few places I've actually been, right? I guess I've done the dining room now. Okay. Just wait for the guard to come and go. I had him walking away, and he was, but he's coming back again now. jump onto the carpet, but you know how often I mess up the jump distance. If you've seen, uh... Oh, there's somebody in here. Wait, I thought this is the greenhouse? No, this is an anti-room for the greenhouse. There's like two people here. Oh, these would be the two guests having dinner out on the terrace. It's another big house. Am I on the wrong? Am I looking at the wrong floor of the map? <laughs> the greenhouse is above. No, but this is the floor. Not I don't know. I'm confused. 
Uh, I don't know what's going to happen when I go through there. I've got four disruptors. I'm just going to spend one. What's that? We spent at least six winters trying to prevent our hands from freezing with rotten wood and stolen... <clears throat> Let's try that again. Uh, I got seen doing that because... Carlton told me it's because his fancy townhouse and new quarter is under heavy renovations in order to match the new style with white brickworks and fluted columns and all that taff. He couldn't stand the noise and dust any longer and needed calm to concentrate. So he came back here, but then he found the severe lack of comfort disturbing. Said he didn't feel safe, too. What? This place is like a fortress. You can't even go to the privy without at least three security checkpoints. And the periscope watching your steps all the way through. Beats me, but I think he's in serious trouble. You can tell by the way he's mumbling to himself. I've tried to eavesdrop on him last night. He said something about fleeing the city for a while. Well, wow. Duval isn't the sort to be afraid. It must be the trickster himself who's haunting him. It's an unfortunate conversation. It's very easy to just accidentally stumble in on them and be brightly lit up and interrupt them without realizing it's just... Because the de because the dang curtains don't give you any visibility into the room. I don't like reloading for that. Sort of mistake, but I wanted to hear the conversation. Otherwise, if it, well, otherwise I wouldn't have cared. I would have just knocked him out. Um. Well, it's too brightly lit, and if he's going to hang around here, I do want to do a round of the building. I've got plenty of these. Pop the room like that. Do a round of the room. Here we get some pretty moss. We get some nice flowers to stop and smell. Oh, he just leaves the room anyway. Oh, we can get outside? There is oh, yeah, I mean, of course there's an accessible garden. No, wait, not of course. I haven't been out in the garden. Oh, right, the garden door is there. I just haven't been out there. Okay, well, we can get down to the garden from here. Is that an open window? No. Yeah, there's the garden door. Okay. I guess I've wasted that one hour. Never mind. Um. Unfortunately, having to listen to that conversation means there's now two more people wandering the damn house. And I don't know where. Is it the guard? Yeah, it's the guard. Did that shadow move? Nah. So he turned around. Right? Stop jumping at nothing. <laughs> Okay, so this is the private study. This is where we should find the chalice. So he is still wandering back to the uh, greenhouse there. See an open door. Apologies, another sneeze. 
meat button is within reach, thankfully. Your Excellency, this missive was written as a journal with the purpose of facilitating reading. Here are some details about Operation This Week that could be of interest to you. I had my spies scour the city as you ordered. None of them had anything substantial to report but one, who says she glimpsed the thief Hume in Sutchheim on the 16th in the morn. She couldn't tell me exactly where he was headed, as he quickly disappeared in the bowels of the quarter, but she's fairly certain it was him. I have no reason to doubt her word, but the other spies in the vicinity saw nothing, hence why I didn't send you a missive. I shall keep you updated on the matter. I had a conversation with Lord Karenis on the subject of the ever-raising tolls on goods coming from outside the city. The good fellow assured me he shall make the problem disappear as soon as possible, in the upper new market area at the very least, and his services were cheaper than my original estimate. About 1,500. I finally found some leads on this Palmer fellow you were hoping to employ. A little inquiry I personally funded revealed that his real name is Garrett, and that he used and or still uses numerous aliases to cover his tracks. Philby, Talbot, Messer Johannes, who knows how many. His head had a price attached to it by the Judge Asimlag herself last year, but only during a very short while. This is very strange, as the lady is not known to forget, and least of all forgive. Sadly, I couldn't gather any more information, and this elusive man is like a ghost, Messer Beric. My lord, in these dire times, mothers and children are abandoned while the paternal figures defend the honour of the city on the battlefields. Let me just say that you do a more than fantastic job keeping these good people busy in your workhouses. Could you honour me with half a dozen of your little workers, specifically honest and brave boys who aren't afraid of getting dirty for fair labour and who are capable of running fast? Their small, wonderful sizes would be perfect to squeeze into the pipes to clean all that nasty search from my automated furnaces. Know that, if you accept, <clears throat> I shall show you my gratitude by offering you even more of these Roxburghian art pieces you are so fond of. Mr. Calvert. Smell the box, Melters. <clears throat> Hello? Wait, the chalice was in here, huh? I was like, what's this chain? The chalice should have been in here. Here we go. Secret room. Nothing behind the hammer tapestry. Okay. How many times am I gonna have to steal this thing? Okay, that. Hopefully not any more times. Are we can't close it again. It's uh, an odd decision. I like I like this ledge around the top of a room. A little tiny touch, but uh, <sighs> very nice one. All right, and the slight bolt on the ceiling is good too. Okay, so we've been in the private study, we've been in the greenhouse. I need to go to the guest room, but this guy's going to be a nuisance. Oh, he's got money though. That's that's a nice thing. Man, I should, I should have definitely put off going to the greenhouse. This servant one I've ever bought is going to mess up our uh, control options and, and risk walking into me all the time. That's why the whole people walking into you is a nuisance. It's not really a... Right, if I... Ow. <laughs> totally confused, because uh, he just disappeared. <laughs> but he was sitting in the corner, was he? Watching the hallway. And the disruptor bomb didn't... I guess you have to hit really close to the light for it to do anything, because that didn't put the light out at all. Um, yeah, I was just... A little... Uh, I thought he turned left, because there was no way to go on the right. So I was um, 
that perplexed that I just didn't react. I mean, she goes that way and then immediately comes back, so it's not an opening. And he comes back this from this side really quickly, so that's not much of an opening either. Stay here. Well, maybe I can just park my butt here. Moss up the corner and get round as he turns his back. Maybe. The door's open. Door is openable. Okay. That worked. Isn't this the one they're renovating? Doesn't look like there's any renovations going on. Getting out of the room is going to be easier because we can go behind his back as he walks down the hallway, but. God. Oh, what was that? Hey! Someone tapping about. God. Coming in here to scrub the bathroom floor or to pray to me? He's praying to me, obviously. Oh, great Hume, please do not bonk my head with your blackjack. I've had enough headaches for the week. Oh, great flower pot, bless us with flowers. God, okay, that's seven is maximally disruptive to my plans then. Alright, well we've done this room and it doesn't seem to be helpful. That's weird, I'm not seeing any sign of renovations. Your back was turned. Mess with me and your crow meat, tapper boy. God damn it. Ah, press W back. I'm sorry. I'm in a. God. I missed the missed the moment. And there's four dang lights around here, so disruptor bomb isn't gonna do any good. Okay, he's not sitting down this turn. I guess I want to turn right and go where he goes. And wait. I just need to wait till he's coming this way and hope that the servant isn't walking towards us. Okay. And there isn't anything there that I can see that might be... I mean, there might be another secret passage around this area, but if there is, I can't see it. Where am I going? What's my plan? Don't have one. Okay. So we've checked out these areas. They're all clear as well. Um, yeah, what is my plan? I still have absolutely no idea how to get into the security office to deal with the main thing I need to deal with. The door can only be opened with the captain's key, and I have no idea where that is. Absolutely zero. So, uh, the foyer is probably dangerous, but I guess we need to check out these guest rooms as well. When this guard is not in the way. Yeah, there's disruptor bombs. I don't know, I feel they're pretty useless.
Did you stop right there? What the fuck? There! Ah. Oh. Where did the light turn on from? Uh. All of a sudden it was light. It would be dark a second ago. That's just bullshit. I guess I'll wait for the guy with his dog to go past because... I don't know what else I can do. I guess I wanted to go to the guest room anyway. I just left down the hall. I hate glass doors, they are so annoying. Something anybody can be walking behind them and see you, and you can't even hear that they're there. <coughs> Nothing. Oh, this is the one they're renovating. Okay. That makes a little more sense, it's a little, little clearer. Putting ceiling tiles, redoing the floor. <sighs> we just barrel of refuse. Installing electric lights, or they've taken them down for the renovations. Tub. However, I see no sign of the secret passage I predicted that they were building, so maybe I'm maybe I've got the wrong end of the stick on that on that idea. And there doesn't seem to be space for it either. These tiles don't, on the ceiling don't even match. This one wouldn't even fit in the kind of... What are these incompetent clowns doing? I don't know. Well, absolutely nothing in, the, in here. So now I don't know if it's safe to go based on timing, I have no idea if there's a guard with a dog coming or not. When are they going to bring me my dinner? That's what I want to know. When are they going to bring me my dinner? Stop tapping with me! Shut down yourself! Ah, I don't want to do that. There's nothing, guys. Alright, where are you? God, I need a plan to deal with him, and I don't have one. Here's my plan to deal with him. Oh! It's scripted thunder. You step into the foyer, you thunder, and then the lights you go off for a second. For That's what happened. I didn't even realize that all the lights had gone off. Well, that was a annoying script to trip over. Just some one piece of thunder, then. Is that it? I mean, a lot better if that had been systemic rather than just ah, oh, we're going to script this. Oh well, this guard, that guard had money. This guard does not. Although he's dressed differently, isn't he? Is he maybe the captain? Does he have a key? Surely he's not the captain anymore, but the captain isn't patrolling. I don't know. Um, I need to get across. All right. Hey, you see the new boy? Yup. Nice guy and all, but he ain't worth a dime. <sighs> okay, well, 
What am I going to do about that rope? I mean, I could, I could just leave it there. Yeah, I'm probably just going to leave it there. I've got three others. So getting across the other side is going to be fine. Getting around the foyer is going to be a horrific nightmare. Well, maybe I don't need to. There's these passageways on the side. It's all incredibly brightly lit, and I can't tell how. Well, there's one electric light there. I guess there's this other electric lights under these balconies. Mm -hmm. Horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. When does the guy come through this doorway? Because if I run down and get caught again, that's going to really uh, sell my day. Did you see something? No! Over there! You gotta stop jumping at nothing. <coughs> oh no. Good dog. He's the captain. That's the security office key. Okay, well, I mean, that's good news. Good news that the dog seems to have a cold and is not... not smelling things very well today. I didn't expect the captain to be doing rounds. Periscope, I'm hearing a periscope. We have a periscope in the foyer? At the entrance, I'm hearing the one underneath me, I think. Okay. Where are we here? We've got another guest room. Alright, let's, let's go this way. books everywhere. Put my nose in the banner. I mean, it's a technically neat thing and it's good for the for the ghosters who follow the no property damage rules. But I don't know, I like chopping down banners. I don't like having to stick my nose right up in something to see what's going on with it. A candle falling off a candlestick is good. <laughs> There's a ship in a bottle. Do I select the plant pot? I'm trying to look at the vials and it keeps highlighting the plant pot. Who's coming in here? Every day in this trout here. Sound myself and be branded. That sounds like the wall. No, it's that that guy. I need a better tailor. I mean, I guess he's staying in this room. When are you wandering back to the library now? Okay. Well, there we go. There is there is some value to a disruption bomb. There is some value I got out of a disruption bomb. More importantly. Those candles are not worth a thing. We're back here again. Is that the secret passage? That is definitely the secret passage. Does it open from this side? Hmm. 
I think it does. Oh, that's right, I saw that switch before while I was here and I just forgot about it. I don't actually know if this is where I want to be, right? I want to get to the security office. Maybe actually going in the secret passage is not worth my time. Well, I guess I can search this area thoroughly and I can get out here easily enough. Yeah, alright, let's, let's get out of here. Oh, I left it open. And nobody noticed. Or maybe they just know it's there and they're used to it. He's just walked by this secret passage so many times, it's just like, eh. The wall's leaving the doors open again. Spying on Lady What's Her Name. I wonder what the switch is for this one on this side. I guess, oh there it is. I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, let's come back up here, that's an easier approach. We've got the moss all laid out. Something. I need more luck after all, after all the bad luck we've had. Right, I have been in here and looted everything, right? That's wild. I thought somebody patrolled up here. Alright, well I can mark these off on my map. Been there, we've been around here. Been in this room, right? Oh yeah, because I commented on all these little windows that we could duck into. Okay, back on familiar territory. Now we have the key. Now, the thing we we're trying to do. I didn't even notice the guy walking past the dog, and he's walking right past here. So he did kind of, you know, could have picked the key off his belt right here. I don't know how I failed to see that, but okay, that's. <sighs> he doesn't stop to listen to the dog whining as the dog senses me nearby, but the dog is a good boy and he knows I'm not going to cause any harm. Alright, finally we're going to go into the security room. Don't forget the dang periscope. Alarm controls will reset after five minutes. Periscope controls. So there isn't a guard watching the periscopes. Five minutes for the uh, alarm and... I have not scouted the gallery at all, but we can get down there pretty easily, right? We can just go back here and... I mean, I could even knock out this guy if we want. Should be pretty quick to get back. Let's just do it.
Alright, so we got... Those must disrupt this. He's just standing there watching the damn thing. Let's moss it up. Here's Aldria's demise lying in plain sight. I'm hearing the guy on the floor above. What noise? <coughs> We right, need the replica. Well, that was easy. The glass guard, the Lord's Ruby, is protected by an alarm system that triggers as soon as the glass case is touched or left open. The alarm and the periscopes are controlled in the security office. Yeah, 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 I've heard that. That's the same note I'm holding in my hands. Alright. What's, what's all that there? Levers and stuff. I don't know, but this guy was conveniently out of the way when I needed him to be, so thank you, sir. <coughs> you don't have any money for me, though, so that's less good. Hope he doesn't notice the body here. I'm not sure I hit it well enough. <clears throat> That's really surprising, obviously. The hardest part of that heist was... Well, the two things that were annoying. One was the guard who was just standing there not moving. I don't know how you deal with him. If you're, if you're trying to supreme this or something. The other bit that was hard was finding that dang key. God, that's noisy. What is this? Is this supposed to be the periscope controls or what? Oh, that's not. That's what it is. Really primitive uh, audio recording. The quality is surprisingly good, you know. Okay, have I searched the pool room? Been in here. Did I see if there's any loot? This water crystal. The drain, that's not loot. Huh? <sighs> I've got a lot of loot still to get. 2,500, and I feel like I've looted most of the place now, but there may be more valuables in the gallery I have not dealt with. Not very dark corner, this is a much darker corner. Alarm system. Trying to do that without turning off the birth goats? Like Supreme Ghost rules, like Quatremus likes to do. Don't mind if I do. Is um, you 
not allowed to turn off security systems. It's against the rules, so... I don't know, I mean, I guess that means this mission is a bust, because you have to turn off the alarm, right? Ooh. You saw nothing. Hmm, although maybe... Maybe you could disrupt a bomb the case and do the swap in time. It's possible. I don't know how long a disrupt a bomb lasts, but it gives you about 10 seconds, right? Fiddling through the inventory to find the replica might be a bit annoying. It would be good if you could disrupt a bomb and do it. That would be sensible, but... I still don't know what you do about the damn periscopes watching it. Maybe there's... Periscopes are in the corners of the room, so maybe if you're diagonally opposite corners... So they can't actually see the case, right? There's a pillar in the way. So, okay, yeah. What's that guy running around? Oh, he's running because it's raining and he doesn't want to get wet. His patrol just takes him across the courtyard, but he runs across the wet part. That's cool. Nice touch. He didn't. He didn't see me, so he wasn't running in response to seeing me. Uh, all right. Well, I think we're kind of done then. We could just leave. Is there anywhere I haven't really stolen from? I haven't been in that bathroom. I don't think I need to care about that bathroom. Just need a way out. The garden is probably the best way out. Go to the ballroom. I haven't been in the ballroom. There was a, there was a stationary guard there. I haven't been in the game room either. Or here, or here. This is possible now. We've done all that. We've done all that. Yeah, I guess I can go out the north end here, check out these rooms, and maybe... If not, we've got access to the next floor quite easily. I guess I would go up by the basement, all the streets. I'd rather go over the wall. Where's the guy who's patrolling in here? Where did he go? He didn't go indoors, did he? Ooh. There's a rake. There's a shovel is partly better than the ground to look like a rake. No, okay, that's right, he does go indoors. He's coming down this way. He's gonna run across the courtyard again. No, he's not gonna run across the courtyard again. Who's the guy who runs across the courtyard? I guess I don't need to know. Me, nobody you need to worry about. I was going down the stairs. Just coming back. It's not quite there. It's not dark there. Why is it not dark there? I don't like this entire... <coughs> Do not, I'm not a fan of this way of lighting up. We'll make a light with a... 
it's just a sphere and then there's pitch black darkness outside it so you get these really sharp transitions sharp transitions are very hard to predict so when you have a big soft inner radius you get big gradients of light the nice thing about big gradients of light is you can see them growing and shrinking and you can predict much better who's there is someone there when the light make a noise now when the light's gonna change Oh, I love that. I love the little, uh... And when are they going to... What's there? House of Cards there, that's cool. Oh, okay. well. Okay. I don't know what it was. Uh, game room we've done... Oh, I guess I've done. I don't know, maybe there's some valuables I missed. I'm sure this... Seems quiet enough now. Uh, oh, well, okay. there. Nothing making noise now. It's a fucking disruption bomb. Oh, Did someone? <laughs> it didn't fucking work. Is it, is it radius that? Nothing making noise now. Hello? Anyone there? Is this radius really that small? I guess not. <laughs> well, he's patrolling. He's not just playing games. <laughs> This guy's so unpredictable. Being unpredictable means you get caught much more often. And you try and fumble for a disruption bomb and you can't get to it in time. I guess I could I could have set up a hockey for it, like I suggested. I don't have any spare hockeys. Well maybe I do, but I didn't really stop to think about it. How are you gonna stare at that painting for, man? I don't want you suddenly turning around and walking down into this corridor. Fine, whatever you do, I think. Oh, there's the guy who's standing in the bar that we don't. Oh yeah, somebody walks down this thing. Got a wee bit too. I can't believe this. This awful air turned my silk handkerchief black. Are you coming down the fucking stairs, man? Who's that? Come out and my guards will take care of you quickly. Come out and my guards will take care of you quickly. I don't have time to play games. Well, not that kind of games. Nor do I, to be quite honest. Is that a rogue I see? Guards! Help! There's a thief in here! Save me! Don't worry, I'll find you! <sighs> this wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, you set off the alarm. I was I was not saving because I wasn't sure about that. I'm, I'm back fucking here again. Damn it. <laughs> I can't believe this. This awful air turned my silk handkerchief black. He's at the mm -hmm. room, so well. Yes. I thought he had something in his belt. Alright. Uh, I hate bloody rats. <clears throat> Who's there? What's the guard on the upper floor seeing me? Mm. Noise stopped. Mm. Guess it was nothing. <clears throat> yes, this is entirely unnecessary and slow. And probably could get me mm. caught. Never all the, mind. There's no one here. Because of all the glass doors and people patrolling <clears throat> everywhere. But I thought it. 
Something there. So I should give it a go. Um, okay. Because I haven't been in these rooms either, so I guess we can get into these rooms. And we know we can get all this down to the basement. Oh yeah, we can get to the garden out here this way. And if I get to the garden, I can explore the garden, I can get out the... over the wall. Right? Because that's my thinking. You heard nothing? Good. What's that in the shadow? Loot and loot. Hello? Hello? Okay, it's locked. And it's noisy. I mean, everywhere in this house is noisy. Alright, I've been on this balcony before, haven't I? What? <sighs> that counts with outside the house. Okay, I guess. I wasn't I wasn't what I would call outside, but I will take it. Uh fair enough. Well that was a uh The wall has way too much tile floor for my presence, and I wish, I really wish there'd just been some kind of note somewhere about the captain's dog or something, because, yeah, if there's something that directed me to, oh, it's the guy with the dog, it's the guy with the key that you need. Um, because, I don't know, I saw him many times, but obviously he was, not, I was... Saw him while I was busy uh, trying to get somewhere else, and not close enough. I don't know. I probably could have seen the key. I just didn't. But I didn't see the key many times over. So, and I had no reason to suspect that he was the captain of the guard. Like he wasn't inspecting the other guards or anything. He wasn't seeming any more important than the others. Except I guess he walks differently. Um. But oh well. We got everything. The wall only saw us four times, five times. <laughs> but thankfully, you know, we it's not just that we have the power of the Keeper's Light Gem and the power of the Sea Keeper Glyphs, we have the power of the Quick Save and Quick Load, so too bad for the wall. Alright. Uh, yeah, and there's another 800 loot scattered around somewhere. I'm sure there's some, a couple of secret places I missed as well. But we got the loot we needed, and a bit more besides. I was worried about the loot goal at the end, but that was turned out not to be a problem once I'd, once I'd been in the gallery proper, which makes sense. Alright, that's going to be it for this episode. Next time, I guess we're going to see what kind of sound the long shadow makes when it finally hits the ground. So uh, stay tuned for that.